the force commander, general officers here present, senior officers, officers, the force forces Sergeant Major, Askari Wenzangu. Good afternoon. Karibuni Nyumbani. Welcome home. Today is a momentous occasion as I stand here to welcome you, our dedicated officers and service members back home after serving with Vela and distinction as part of East African Community Regional Force in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo remains a focal area of concern due to the complex issues associated with that region. You are all aware that our deployment to the mission followed a request by the government of DRC that invited the East African community members to deploy a regional force to help restore peace and stability in that part of the country. I am proud to note that Kenya's deployment as the first contingent in the theater made significant contribution to stabilizing the region and created conditions for the deployment of other contingents from other member states. The success and gains made during your tour of duty in the mission reflects the professionalism, discipline, and dedication of our forces. I am aware of the challenges and complexities and uncertainties that you faced in the mission. However, through your dedication, resilience, and collaborative efforts with your colleagues from other countries, you demonstrated strength that comes with the unity of purpose. The aircraft, being the first of its kind in the area, had challenges, but I'm happy to note that those challenges were, you were able to overcome to achieve your mission. Your efforts have not only contributed to the regional stability, but also exemplified the East African community's ability in addressing security challenges collectively in the region. The exit of the East African Regional Force from the theater following the expiry of the mandate is not the end of our efforts to pursue regional peace and security. The assignment you undertook as East African Regional Force is a testament to the collaborative spirit and shared responsibility within the East African community. And we, as Kenya, remain ready to embark on any other mission we may be called upon to restore peace in the region. As I welcome you back home, I want to acknowledge and appreciate the effort that each and every one of you made. I specifically want to thank the Force Commander, the First Force Commander, General Jeff Nyaga, and the Second Force Commander, General Kyugu, for the exemplary leadership they showed to the force to enable it achieve its mission to the end of the mandate. I also want to acknowledge and appreciate your families whose prayers and moral support enabled you to accomplish your mission. I equally extend my appreciation to the support that we received from our commander in chief, the guidance and direction that he constantly gave that enabled the mission to be achieved. I want to thank you all and welcome you home and be ready to accomplish any other mission you may be called upon. The mission to be achieved. I want to thank you all and welcome you home and be ready to accomplish any other mission you may be called upon. And for the record, I also joined the Force Commander 
in appreciating and thanking the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo for their hospitality, for their support, and for their cooperation during the term of East African Regional Force. Finally, as I welcome you home, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm proud of what you have done. I'm proud of the achievements you made, and welcome back home. You've done your bit, and you've accomplished the mission for which you are sent. So, karibuni sana nyumbani. Asante sana. God bless you all.